Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator yeah. Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. First myth of today's episode is actually something a lot of you guys were telling me in the comment section because it must have slipped my mind. It's the one with Senpai and then make him disappear. What does Kakona do at lunchtime on Wednesday when she can't see Senpai, you know, when she's all like drooling over him and all that? So thank you guys for reminding me that you can lower his reputation by going in the student ID menu, clicking on his face, and just pressing the minus key and lower that reputation all the way to whatever the fuck you want to do. We can just keep pressing it all day long, goes down all day long. And the reason why I didn't do this in the video is because that specific myth was asking me if I can use an Easter egg to make Senpai disappear, which is true. You can't make him disappear with Easter eggs. The only way you can do that is by lowering this reputation. So I already put his reputation down in the quadruple digits. So we are going to end the day and then we are going to go home and he shouldn't be there on Wednesday so let's do this okay it is now Wednesday I'm just gonna put on my cute little teddy bear underwear because this is gonna be a big day for me we are gonna go to school and we are gonna see what Kakona does when Senpai isn't there at lunchtime and just to make sure he's not here let's fast forward time just a little bit and yep Senpai is usually the one in the front, but he is not this time, so we are going to teleport to class and just randomly bullshit our stats in here like so. And then we are going to see what Kakoni does when she is in the courtyard by herself. Okay, here comes Kakoni with her bento. Mm -mm, this shit looking good, Kakoni. And I'm not talking about you, girl. I'm talking about that sushi you got over there. Mm, let me have some of that. Let me get a piece of that. Nope, she's walking in place. Is it bugging out because Senpai is not there? Is that what it is? Let me try fast forwarding time. Let me see if she does anything. Nope. She's just walking in place. I believe it's because Senpai isn't at the fountain, but maybe it just bugged out because I was standing right in front of her. So let me fast forward time a little bit. Make sure she doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'm just fast forwarding time. She's walking in place. Bento is getting cold. She better eat that before I do. And there you go. She just ends up leaving. Her bento is magically gone. I don't know where the hell she stuck it. Must have stuck it up her own ass. We are going to try this one more time. Make sure that just wasn't something that happened one time. And let's see if she walks in place again. Here comes Kakona again with a bad self and her yummy, yummy bento. Senpai is not there again. I'm not going to stand in her way. Let's see if she walks in place again. If she does, then I'm assuming that's what happens every time Senpai is not here. So yes. She is walking in place. I don't think she's going to do anything. I'm going to fast forward time. And yeah, so if Senpai isn't at the fountain or he's not at school at all, Kakona is just going to walk in place during lunchtime instead of confessing her love for him. So I hope that answers your question, guys. On to the next one. Jay, I just tried this. One, spawn mind slave Saki Miyu. Two, wait until Kakona takes her phone call. Three, I gave her the ritual knife, but it may work with other weapons. Well, I'm just going to try the ritual knife because I want it to work for me too. Saki will fuse into Kakona and won't kill her while she's taking her call about compensated dating. Saki will fuse into Kakona and won't kill her while she's taking her call about compensated dating. Then she will stab her and Kakona will scream but she won't die and Saki won't kill herself. Okay, I want to see that very very bad. So we are gonna spawn Saki Miyu Mind Slave. Come on down, baby! Come on, front row seats. Where you at, girl? There she is. Perfect. Keep that head down until I get that ritual naifu to end Kakona's laifu. But according to this myth, nobody's laifu will be ended. So hopefully that's the case. We are going to do it and see if we can find this out for ourselves. So let's grab this long ass ritual naifu. And now we have to wait until about 7.30ish I believe. And Kakona will be out here taking her call. I'll see you guys when that happens. Okay, here comes Kakona. I'm going to give her the knife. And there you go. She's not going to kill her is what the myth said. She is going to fuse into her body. And then after the phone call, supposedly she's supposed to kill her or just stab her, but actually not kill her. So fuse into her. There you go. Saki is now fused into her, popping out of her chest like a third titty. And we are just going to wait until Kakona is finished with this phone call. All right. Now Saki can never say she hasn't been inside Kakona, but the phone call is finished. So let's see what Saki does. Okay. So Kakona got stabbed by Saki. Saki kind of froze in place. She's not killing herself. 
Kokona's kind of doing like a karate motion like she joined the martial arts club. So yeah, there you have it. Let me put this in cinematic real quick. I kind of like this little picture right here. It's kind of cool. Kokona's like, please don't kill me! Okay, it's actually 8.01 a.m. Students are now proceeding to go to their classrooms. Kokona is supposed to go also, but she's still stuck in this motion right here. Let me try going to class and let me see if Kokona is still going to be there at lunchtime or if she's going to be moving again. Oh, I actually can't go to class. What the hell? That's weird. So if that whole thing happens, it glitches out and you can't go to class? All right, I'm just gonna pass the time and let's see if Kakona and the Mind Slave are there forever. What do you mean, what's up with me? I'm not even doing anything. Go to your class, Senpai. Stop worrying about me. Worry about your damn self. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna end the day. Let's see if it says in the police report or if anything happens regarding Kakona and the Mind Slave killing him. Like what usually happens when a Mind Slave kills a student. And actually, nothing in the text says that a Mind Slave killed Kakona. So I guess nothing happened. Let me try going to school the next day, and let's see if Kakona is normal and the Mind Slave is still there. Yep, I see her at school over there on her phone, texting Bay. Mind Slave just came up. So if you want to prevent Kakona from dying from a Mind Slave attack, just follow those steps when she's taking that phone call about compensated dating. The Mind Slave will fuse into her, will stab her, she'll scream, but Kakona won't die. So that is true, and that was cool, so thank you for sharing that with me. On to the next one. Jay, I have one. One. Make sure you are in the May 7th build. Two, teleport to the music club. Three, teleport to the computer lab, the room where you can play tapes. Four, if you haven't noticed, there's a past time on your phone. Enter 716 on it. Okay, I have noticed that there's a past time on my phone. Thank you very much. Five, open the debug menu and press alt on your keyboard. You have to do this part very quickly. Six, you teleport inside Infochan's room. Seven, make sure you look as quickly as possible because soon she will say, get out! Eight, when she does, you'll find out the day will be reset. You won't be able to land a single step in the room. And remember, Jay, you're that dude! Okay, I never forgot that I'm that dude, but we are gonna teleport to the music club, like so. And I heard you can play the piano, but that's a different story. Well, actually, it says play no right there. But you know what? We have to do something. So, we are gonna teleport to the other room, then we have to click pass time, and 716, and then do this part very fast. Whoa, what the hell? Oka! The fuck are you doing here, Oka? Mind your own damn business, girl! Oh god, I think I did it wrong. Okay. Teleport, pass time, 716, and boom! Get out! I did it! What the fuck? Yes! We did it! Oh shit, that was so fucking cool! Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Teleport, boom, pass time. Oh shit, they don't mean to quit. Pass time, 716, Get and boom! Out. Okay, let me. Oh, I was gonna take a picture. Shit, that was so cool. I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> Alt, boom, past time, seven. Oh, that's eight, seven, sixteen. Start waiting. Get it. Get out. Oh shit, that is so cool. Okay, this time I'm actually gonna go into Falcon mode. So let's do this. Teleport and then past time to seven, sixteen. Start waiting Get and boom. Yes. Out. Come on, run. Yes, I landed steps in the room. Let's fucking go. Okay, watch this, guys. I'm gonna try to get a picture of Infochan's face, so let's go. Ready, set, go! Come on, go, 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 go! Oh, fuck, I'm too fast! I'm too fast! I'm too fast! Out! Wait, it's not restarting! Out! She's saying, get out! Ah! I had her saying, get out, like, four times. Okay, we got into Infochan's room. That's how you do it. If you're curious, just follow that step-by-step process, and you, too, can go into Infochan's room. That was awesome as hell. Thank you for that. On to the next one. Jay, I have a question for you. One, take Kakoni's phone. Two, take a picture of something, anything that's not a panty shot. Three, wait until she finds her phone. Four, report to the guidance counselor. Will Kakoni get told off for having a simple picture on her phone? Uh, to be honest, I don't think so, but I've never done this myth before, so we're gonna try it right now. I'm gonna get some panty shots like so. Then we are gonna ask Infochan for a scheme, I believe, and frame for panty yes, shots. So I have you. to steal her phone at 7.30 on Thursday. So let's do that. Okay, here we go, guys. Her phone is right here, so let's steal that. And you guys know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna go take a picture of our old friend Mrs. Ghost inside of the third floor girls bathroom and we actually haven't seen the ghost in a very long time so I wonder if the ghost looks any different let's switch our phones let's take the picture there's the ghost clear as day let's save that wait I can't actually save the picture what the hell I'm pressing save it's not letting me let me take the picture again save it no I can't save it I can only delete it 
Is it because I'm taking a picture of the ghost? Let me see if I can take a picture of the ghost panties. Right over here. There you go. The panties are clear as day. Let's save that. Nope, you can't save the ghost panties either. I wonder if you can't save it because it's the ghost. Let me try taking a picture of the boy's bathroom urinal. Let me see if I can save that. So let's take a picture. Save that. No, you can't save any picture that's not a panty shot, I believe. Let me just see if I can take a picture of a random girl. And let's see if I can save that. Or if it only saves if I take a panty shot. So Oka, I'm going to take a picture from behind like so. And yeah, you can't save it. I think you can only save it if you take a panty shot. Let me try. And yeah, there you go. You can only save a picture if it's a panty shot. So that is officially debunked. It would have been cool if I could take a picture of the ghost. Actually, let me see if I can take a picture of the ghost now because I have a panty shot on there. So let me switch phones, take a picture of the ghost and save it. Nope, you can't save it. You can only save it if it's a panty shot. So officially debunked on to the next one. I have a glitch that you might find interesting. I don't know if it will work or not, so I'll tell you exactly the way I did it. 1. Kidnap a random girl on Thursday. I kidnap the red evil one. 2. Wake up in the morning, torture her for an hour, arrive at 8am and no one will be around. 3. Go to the roof. If it works, you will see Midori Gorenu sitting on midair. Okay, I've already made it Thursday. We are gonna kidnap the red evil girl too, just because I want to do it the same way you did it. So let's fast forward time and talk to our favorite evil redhead. And there she is. Hello, can you follow me please, you evil little girl? Sure, I'll follow you. And I know that's not what it said in the text, but who cares? Okay, we got her in here, so let's close the door, and then trank that hoe! Yes! Nighty night, evil girl. So let's put her inside of this box. She is gonna go nighty night in there. We are gonna go home, and then I believe we have to torture her for an hour, arrive at school an hour later, and then Midori Gorina should be sitting on midair. Alright. So let's go down to the basement, and since we want to go to class, we want to be a good student, we're only going to torture her for one hour. And there you go, she's going to nod her head no, but we don't give a fuck. And now we're at school, so Midori should be sitting on midair. And Midori is right in front of us, sitting in midair. Creepy as shit. Okay, Midori, you're sitting down there. Can I make it look like she's sitting on me? <laughs> Can I make it look like she's sitting on me? There you go. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let me actually position the camera real quick. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going <laughs> to pretend she's sitting on me. So I'm going to crawl under her. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! It looks like Midori's sitting on me. <laughs> Epic. All right. So this is true. You just got to kidnap a random girl, torture her for an hour, arrive at school later. Midori will be sitting in midair. You can do cool things like make her sit on you and stuff. Thank you for showing me that. On to the last myth of today's episode. Can you do the invisible student's glitch on a girl? If you can, kidnap her. Will she still be invisible downstairs or what? Okay, if you guys don't know what the invisible student's glitch is, it's basically when you have a student stand side by side with Kokona, pour water on them. If you kidnap a dude, he should be invisible by the time like you go to lunch during your first session of class. We're gonna try it with a girl. I'm gonna try it with her. So we're gonna get her to follow us. Actually, we're gonna wait till after 7.15 so we can have her wait for Kakona with us. So let's wait for Kakona to make her phone call. Okay, here comes Kakona. We gotta time this right. We have to position her right here so we can pour water on both of them. Hopefully this girl cooperates. No, 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 no. Stand right here. No, fuck. You know what? That's close enough. They basically look like conjoined twins. So we are gonna put water inside of here and come on work for me one time baby yes okay i think water went on both of them if they run to the locker room then this should be a win and not a fail come on come on come on come on yes okay they both ran to the locker room they're both gonna change so we have to go to class and then just bullshit these stats and then we should be good to go so let's see if the student became invisible she should be in here nope She's in her gym clothes. I don't think you can do it to girls, but I'm going to try it one more time. I'm going to position her just as I positioned a guy when I did it previously. So let's do it one more time just to be sure. Okay, position her right over there. There, that should be good. That's exactly how I had the guy when I did the invisible students glitch. So let's teleport and let's fill the bucket with some water. 
And then let's pour it on them. Come on, please work. Yes, I think it worked. But they're not grayed out though. So I'm kind of not sure if it's gonna work, but I don't know if it's gonna work on a girl. They both went to the locker room. I'm gonna go to class. Just put in random stats. The reason why I don't think it's gonna work on a girl is because a guy doesn't change into other clothes. That's why he becomes invisible. But a girl has a gym uniform or a PE uniform to change into. That's why they look like that. And that's why the guys are invisible. So yeah, I think I have to debunk this one because the girls are able to change into other clothes. That's why it works for the guys because they have nothing else to put on. So they become invisible. So I'm gonna have to debunk that one. And that's gonna do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, questions or challenges you want potentially featured in the next video please leave them in this comment section below and i'll choose the most creative and unique ones but if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a like and tell a friend today that jay from the cub scouts is dead too